Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. In this section, I am going to share about the topic on nanoparticle based cardiovascular stents. So, let's start with introduction. Coronary heart diseases which cause plaque uh, deposition on the inner wall of the coronary arteries which limit the blood flow through them. Okay, so it damage our head muscles because these coronary arteries which deliver oxygen rich blood to our head muscles. Okay, so a uh, cardiac stent that is used to treat this narrowed or blocked coronary arteries, it can also be used to improve the blood flow immediately following a head failure. So these cardiac stents which are an uh, expandable coil that made up of metal mesh okay so this is the basic information about the cardiac stent and next is how coronary stents work so in this diagram we can see the uh, schematic and this is a schematic representation of um, a coronary stent uh, insertion that is before um, insertion it will be like a plague uh, a plague is uh, there in the in a wall of the artery and uh, the stent procedure then the result after the stent procedure so in basically this coronary stents which are small wire mesh tube that restore the adequate blood flow to the head so during the procedure the cardiologist will place the stent over a thin long tube with a balloon tip called catheter and insert it into an artery in your arm once the stent reaches this clogged artery doctor will inflate the balloon to expand the stent so when the stent reaches the desirable size of pyrin the clogged artery uh, then deflate it and remove the balloon okay so in this uh, diagram it is clear uh, that uh, means after insertion and this coil means the stent become and this, that's a, an expandable stent so uh, the then the stent will stay in the place permanently to help the help to decrease um, the chance of the narrowing again okay uh, next types of um, stents uh, there are uh, different types of stents which are available uh, that is bare metal stents so these are very tiny wire mesh tube that help widen a clogged artery but are not uh, coated with a polymer or drug uh, to help prevent the reblockage of the artery and uh, that is the normal uh, metal stent okay another is the drug eluting stent uh, these are a bare metal stents that have been coated with a polymer that gradually released a drug over a time when the reblockage is mostly like to be happen. Another one is the permanent polymer drug eluting stent. So in this type of stent, the polymer says, uh, stays on the stent permanently even after the drug has been released. Okay. Another is bioabsorbable uh, polymer drug eluting stent. So in the, with this type of stent, the polymers and the drug coating are fully absorbed by the body shortly after the drug has been fully released. Okay, so these are the commonly used um, coronary stents. Next is the complications uh, associated stent, conventional stent. Okay, the first one is the complication associated with the catheter used, that is the um, that is the important is uh, one is the bleeding or discomfort that uh, mainly during the insertion of this catheter so which will during that uh, which will also cause damage the nearby blood vessels also okay another one is the blood clotting uh, a blood clot is a most serious complication that can occur within the stent so the blood clot can and leads to severe uh, severe complications such as um, head attack, um, stroke and thromboembolism to another part of the body. Another is chest pain. And the 
chest pain is a symptom of restoracis. The restoracis is the narrowing of this artery where a stent was replaced. So restoracis is caused by the abnormal tissue growth within the targeted artery. Treatment of uh, restoracis which involve both the angioplasty and the use of another stent uh, that is typically the drug eluting stent. Okay, so these are the important complications is associated with the stent. Next is uh, the role of the nanoparticle or nanotechnology in the stent design. So uh, nanotechnology um, has had a profound impact on manufacturing these medical devices. So regarding this cardiovascular field, uh, it uh, find more interest because this controlling the nano uh, topology of the polymer surface and designing nanoparticle eluting stents is among the recent solutions to the restenosis um, local inflammatory responses and the thrombus formations okay so the main purpose of using nano material in cardiovascular stent technology is to produce hemocompatible uh, polymer to reduce uh, immunologic reactions and increases the re-endothelization in the standard region okay so there are uh, different kind of uh, uh, nanoparticle were used uh, on the uh, stent uh, designing and manufacturing uh, and the first one is nanotechnology in regulating stents so uh, we already told that this drug eluting stents uh, which release the drugs uh, gradually uh, in the stented area and uh, the late stent thrombosis that is the one of the major challenge of this drug eluting stent which mainly due to the incomplete endothelial growth over the stent surface and uh, is uh, partially due to the inflammatory response to the polymer. Okay, so, uh, to avoid this side effect and enhance the drug uh, delivery efficiency, we can use the nanoparticle um, or nanotechnology because um, with this, uh, this, uh, with this will allow um, multiple uh, uh, drug delivery to the standard area from a um, one stand platform okay and also the drug release kinetics has provided a, a spatial temper, temporal uh, drug delivery system so and as the result the stand could have selective properties such as enhancing re-endothelization while minimizing the uh, smooth muscle cell proliferation okay Another uh, one is uh, nanofiber coated stent. So in the nanofibers uh, we can made from the electrospinning process. So this electrospin nanofibers which have uh, good properties such as high length diameter ratio and tunable surface morphology. So this uh, uh, may this uh, by these properties we can coat the nanofiber on the standard surface stent surface and this nanofiber coated stents which reduces the pro probability of restenosis uh, and the nanofiber coated stents are a good platform for incorporation of the drugs and st stem cells uh, due to their higher surface area sustained drug delivery and enhanced biocompatibility okay uh, many drugs uh, which we can um, incorporate into the uh, nanofiber coated uh, drug eluted uh, stent to achieve the better endothelial recovery response. Okay, so another one is uh, nanoparticle eluting st uh, stents. So in this case, um, nanoparticle already told this nanoparticle have found widespread use in um, cardiovascular field and uh, this nanoparticle have been incorporated into the stent platform to enhance the drug delivery kinetics 
and provide a special temporal death delivery to the site of intervention. Therefore, uh, the which can enhance the endothelial healing. Okay, so there's uh, uh, drugs we can encapsulate it uh, uh, in the stem, uh, stem and that is more stable after the implantation uh, where it could readily and effectively to be released in the standard um, uh, region into the up albuminal wall. Okay, so therefore the intracellular uptake and the residence time uh, at the standard region could be significantly become enhanced. Okay, another the last yes. one is um, nanoporous stent platform. So this is also one of the uh, uh, advantage of uh, nanoparticle because uh, by reducing the uh, pore size to the nanoscale has and uh, which enhance the properties in the delivery and alter the surface nanotopology which provide more effective drug delivery devices okay and also this uh, micro and nano porous which act as a reservoir so that uh, we can load into multiple drugs and uh, which leads to develop uh, development of polymer free stents so the um, polymer will lead some uh, the presence of polymer will some side effect we can avoid that side effects okay okay that's it okay so these are the, uh, the recent uh, advances of nanotechnology in designing uh, stent okay so thank you for watching this video if you like this tutorial please share with your friends and contacts thank you